anak ka ng... Kung gati, ganito lang naman ang mga summit, kansilado na yung November. <laughs> Totoo. Pareho naman. Wala namang nagbago. Totoo. Pwede na siguro we can do away nung sa November. Yung foreign affairs, sa, si, sa ano, sir, wag ka na mag-summit-summit dito. <laughs> Magtinginan muna tayo para you have to catch with uh, not uh, to catch uh, distinguished members of the press friends ladies and gentlemen the philippines chairmanship of ASEAN this year is doubtly significant coinciding at a time when we mark the ASEAN's 50th anniversary as we celebrate the golden jubilee of our regional grouping we honor the founding fathers of ASEAN to our steadfast commitment of bringing an open, peaceful, stable, and prosperous region. Our theme, partnering for change, engaging the world, reflects our common goal of realizing an integrated and resilient Asian community actively leading and advancing political security cooperation economic growth, and social-cultural development in the global arena. At the 30th Summit of ASEAN, we are engaging on a productive and fruitful deliberation of ASEAN's work in the community of building process. We also discuss the implementation of the blueprints and work plans of the three community pillars, the political security community, the economic community and the social cultural community as we work towards the realization of ASEAN Vision 2025. We exchange views on regional and international issues of common interest and concern. We acknowledge the importance of ASEAN cooperation in addressing issues that affect peace, security, and prosperity of the region including terrorism, violent extremism, piracy, human trafficking, and illegal drugs. We had productive engagements with our parliamentarians and the youth of ASEAN, who are vital components in keeping the engine of ASEAN growth running smoothly. We look at the progress of our cooperation with external partners and the future direction of ASEAN's engagement with them, noting the importance of ASEAN centrality, which shows that relations only bear fruit if cooperation is anchored on mutual respect and benefit. Earlier this afternoon, we signed ASEAN declaration of the role of civil service as a catalyst for achieving the ASEAN community vision 2025. This underscores the essential role of civil servants in building a nurturing community. At the 30th ASEAN Summit draws to a close, we also acknowledge the need to deepen awareness and instill a sense of community among the peoples of ASEAN. We look forward to the full and active participation of all ASEAN citizens for them to effectively play as key partners for positive change in the regional community building. This is, uh, that ends my statement. But uh, the chairman's uh, statement will be released uh, next year, siguro. Makahintay kayo. <laughs> Later tonight. Mm, maybe before the, 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 the banquet. Are you invited there? Put to. Boom. Paano sila? Ha? 
Sabi nga kayong magsamit-samit kung wala kayong pera. You are invited. You can, we can add tables and chairs there. Pirmahan na lang ni Bungabong yun. Uh, I am now ready for dinner is uh, 8.45. But I'll give you until uh, 1 o'clock. Good morning. To come out with you. Uh, I'm ready to answer questions. Mr. President, we have a question from CCTV, Yellow. Mr. President, my name is Huang Zhengzhen from China Central Television. I know uh, in the coming May you are going to China to attend the Belt and Road Forum of uh, International Cooperation. That's correct. Yes, and uh, of the 10 members of ASEAN countries, there are totally seven countries will go there, including the Philippines, also, be, uh, also will go to Beijing to attend this forum. So I would like to know what's your opinion about the role of ASEAN countries in the One Belt, One Road initiative? And Very what's important, the... because it starts here in Asia. Uh, it is an expanding theory of economics. I guess, of China. Uh, it is uh, helping neighbors at the same time broadening the market. That's, uh, I guess it is, uh, that's what it is. It cannot be other but economics. Nobody should enter into that kind of exercise uh, giving mostly uh, uh, grants, uh, I should say, and even in here in, in Metro Manila, we have been promised about two or three bridges for free grants. That is before the coming uh, One Belt, One Road conference. So I expect that I can not really get something out of it, but uh, maybe more help to develop my country. And... Uh, I would like to thank China through you. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much, sir. We also have a question from Risa Suzuki of Kyodo News. Hello, sir. Um, yes, I'm sir. Risa from Kyodo News, Japanese news agency. Mm -hmm. um, my question is on the North Korean issue. Um, North Korea has fired a ballistic missile this morning, and um, I would like to know what kind of discussions were held in today's meetings regard regarding North Korea and um, the current situation of the rising tensions in the region. And another question is, I would also like to know if you have um, proposed anything to your counterparts about how the U.S. should involve in issue? Well, the countries of ASEAN, or ASEAN uh, as a word, is extremely worried. Uh, there seems to be a two countries uh, playing with their uh, toys, and those toys are not really to entertain. And we have to caution everybody, including those who would give the advice to the two power players because they are the nuclear uh, warheads to just show restraint. And it, would, it behooves upon America who wields the bigger stick just to really to be prudent and patient. We know that we are playing with somebody who releases uh, letting go his missiles and everything. I would not want to go into his mind because I really do not know what's inside. But he's putting Mother Earth, the planet, to an edge. If one miscalculation of a missile, whether or not a nuclear warhead or just an ordinary dumb bomb, 
one explosion there that would hit somebody could cause a catastrophe. And it would really mean the first victim would be Asia and Southeast, the whole of the ASEAN countries and the rest. Because uh, if those are really nuclear warheads, then it means the end of the world. So maybe I'd have to happy to see you in heaven. But that's about it. it the, the region and the planet will become dry. Nothing will grow. And we will shrink little by little. Not maybe in height, but also in height. There will be hunger, agony, and everybody suffers. And only because uh, two nations are playing with their dangerous toys. It behoves, I said, on America because it's a more responsible country. I'm sure President Trump, by now, must also have been oh, is cautioning his uh, military to just maybe hang on there and uh, not to start a, something which uh, they cannot control. So I'm expecting a call actually from President Trump tonight. And who am I to say that uh, you should stop? But I would say just, Mr. President, please see to it that there is no war because my region will suffer immensely. The first, the first fallout would be us in Asia, very near, very dangerous. Everybody's worried. Nobody's uh, clapping his hand. And I'm sure that uh, if war breaks out in the Korean Peninsula, the imponderables of life is really, you cannot foresee, even project what will happen. Whether China would just stand idly, fold its hands, or Russia, China, would come to the rescue and uh, Britain, France, America, and the rest, Japan, would also join the melee. I am as worried as you, really. We are on the edge, and uh, while well, firing missiles has been playing with that kind of thing, just let him take it as a, you know what squeetis is? The squeetis is that during uh, uh, festivals we, <whistles> he treats his missus like that, and he enjoys, it, it, it shows on the face that he enjoys let him, and I would just advise, no, not really advise, but I would just yeah, communicate to, and just let him play with this. Uh, uh, do not play into his hands. The guy simply wants to end the world. That is why he's very happy. He's always smiling. But he really wants to finish everything. And they will drag us all down. So we will have a communique, a statement about the situation in the Korean Peninsula. It may be part of my chairman's statement. I said I will release it uh, tonight uh, before the start of the war there in the Korean Peninsula at least. It will be released. Uh, Maybe on D-Day. <laughs> you like war? Nobody wants it. Thank you, Risa. Uh, we'd like to give other reporters a chance to ask as well. And we have Thank limited you. time. Yes. Joseph Morong of GMA7.
Ay, sir, yes, magandang sir. gabi po. Sir, in your discussion with other ASEAN leaders, what was decided as ASEAN's next step in dealing with militarization in the South China Sea? And can you describe to us the process um, upon which you uh, arrived at that decision, sir? Well, it's really a sort of a pleading or praying. Uh, it's too late for us to be joining the fray. What for? We do not have the nuclear warheads. We do not want it. And even if it's with us, it would be almost a grotesque thing for you to add to the firepower of what is already before our eyes. This we received. Uh, uh, nobody wanted to really to comment except that do not start a war over there because you will drag us down. We are the innocent ones. But, you know, I said, it's just uh, a show of, well, uh, Trump, uh, President Trump has been really pissed off with the uh, constant barrage uh, over there and even the threatening words. You, you can really be pissed off with that kind of statement of challenging. Uh, but uh, I said, do not play into his hands mm -hmm. because at the end of the day, whatever you use, or say, it's going to be a holocaust for all. So it would be good for America to just restrain a little bit. And if I were President Trump, I'd just back out. Not really in surrender, in retreat, but just uh, to let the guy realize that uh, please do not do it. Sir? Can I shift a little bit regarding yes. the South China Sea situation? Yes. In your discussion, sir, with other ASEAN leaders, how, was it easy? What was the next steps? What is going to be the next steps of ASEAN as a bloc in dealing with militarization in the South China Sea, sir? We are also asking for the conduct. That's about it. No terms of reference except that uh, we want the code of conduct uh, enacted by the, at least, at the very least before the end of this year, uh, so that everybody would just be, feel comfortable sailing there, because if not, then it remains to be a flash point. China Sea and Korea are the two flash points there, including the Middle East. Must remember that Israel fired some issues there. And if some dumbhead would retaliate, that would be another plus point. So you have three plus points in the world today. Okay. <clears throat> For those who are uh, peace-loving, just like me, uh, I do not want trouble. So you have to be very careful. We never talked about uh, anything or build up or something. It would be useless. Actually, it would be useless to except fighting terrorism. Any other military build up today is pretty much Thank you, Joseph. useless. Okay, sir. Thank you for your answer. Thank you, Joseph. We have Christine Huang from the South. Christine Wang. Thank you, Mr. President. I'm Christine Huang from South China Morning Post. And my question is about the final statement. Uh, what's the contents about the South China Sea in the final statement? And what are the countries that want to ash, want to add harsh words about the South China Sea in the final statement? No, 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 I did not use that. Uh, you, you have been misinformed. I used that when we were talking about uh, there were three, four of us. Uh, it was Malaysia, Indonesia, Brunei, and the uh, Philippines. And we were talking about the treatment uh, of uh, how we should react. And I said, we are starting tomorrow, so I have to fly to, tonight back home. The Roro, the roll on, roll off uh, thing. But uh, in the final minutes, I was forced to, sta to, to stand up and say, we have to talk about the 
corollary or the arm component of this thing because as it is, the Sulu, Sulawesi, and Malacca states have become dangerous. And uh, we do not want any ship making the voyage maiden or a continuous thing to be there in the quagmire of uh, kidnapping, hijacking, killing. And uh, I said, we have forgotten to discuss the component of uh, how to safeguard. And I said, uh, let it be that I have told my Navy that we will be harsh in dealing with criminals. Mm -hmm. I've always adopted that word. And that was the word that I used during the presidential debates. When I was asked how I would deal with terrorists, same with the others. I will be harsh. Uh, harsh is, uh, a, a shrinking or expanding word, harsh. Thank you. All right. uh, thank you, Christine. The next reporter is Ayi Maraig of Ajans France Press. Good evening, sir. Uh, this morning in your speech, you called on your fellow ASEAN leaders to help make ASEAN drug free. You said there's a massive illegal drug trade apparatus in the region. No, it's a slogan by the ASEAN, not mine. Okay. Uh, uh, the drug free ASEAN. Right. Sir, how do you intend ASEAN to address the drug problem? Do you also want the region to take harsh measures, as you mentioned earlier, and during your presidential campaign against uh, drug traffickers? As it is, look at the penalty. Look at the penal uh, provisions of their countries. It's death by hanging. It's only the Philippines that has uh, abrogated or suspended the death penalty. You go to Indonesia, they will hang you. And you must remember that uh, we have a Filipina there who was granted a reprieve, but who was sentenced to death. In Malaysia, the same thing. Singapore is no exception. We, the, the Philippines is about the only... In America, they have resumed uh, executing criminals one after the other. And uh, I said... Uh, I have advocated for its uh, reimposition. During my time in embassy congressman, I objected to its abrogation. And uh, we saved the day because somebody really boosted in the halls of Congress. It took us about four o'clock to finish the job. But in my time, the death penalty was not removed from the penal statutes. Uh, but uh, I went back to being mayor, and we have this uh, suspension of the imposition of death penalty. But uh, all other states have been, and even uh, in the matter of uh, this outside of the province of uh, penalties, but uh, even children who commit, minors who commit serious crimes are uh, treated as adult offenders. They have reverted back. And that is what you get for copying somebody else's uh, criminal code. We produce a generation of criminals. Whatever was the crime, rape with homicide and robbery, robbery with rape, homicide, or homicide, rape, uh, below 15 years old, they are not even detained even for a minute. It was a short-sighted It was a disaster because we have produced a generation of criminals now who were the minors before, who went in and out of prison without even lectured on the sense of responsibility or accountability. That's what happened to the... It, the disaster started with uh, Senator Pangilinan. He was the one who copied that legislation from... No, because in America, 
Yes, they are not in prison, but they are sent to correctional facilities. Here in the Philippines, it was not the same because the legislation failed to provide the remedy after the arrest. And so the police, fearing prosecution, just simply, when he would say that uh, I am a minor and he produces a birth certificate, he goes out. Even for, they, don't, they, are not, they were never detained even for a minute. They have been rounded up, arrested, serious crimes, and sometimes neighbor, raping a neighbor, and then when he's out, he would shout, I'll rape you again. That created the lawlessness, the Pangilinan law. I, I choose to keep quiet because he's a friend. But if you ask me who is responsible for the lawlessness now, of these uh, well, grown-up gangsters now, they were the ones who went that out. You copy something, but you, you copied, but you did not copy all. Because you have provided the billions needed to place them in correctional, just to be lectured on responsibility and, uh, uh, well, did you this because of, uh, I heard a, a it was Osing Chi. He said that if there, if there is every right, there is always the responsibility. responsibility. So if you are given the right to live by God, you have a responsibility not to other people's lives. Osing Chi, Su Chi Ching of uh, Myanmar. And she was very correct. When you have a right, you have a responsibility too. It's not just a right. You have your human rights? Yes, correct. But that human right given to you must be used by you to preserve human rights also. That's the long and short of her story. Thank you, I, Mr. President. Uh, we have five minutes, and you will be hosting the dinner tonight, so we have to go. They can just go ahead and start the dinner. Uh, <laughs> really, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm just picking uh, everything along the way. Uh, we will not arrive there on time anyway. If we are late, just be late. Uh, anyway, we're already right, late. It's uh, the idiom in my dialect is, uh, you're already wet, better take a bath. <laughs> What's the use? That's why when you antagonize somebody, and it is happening to me, and they come uh, pleading for uh, talks, for uh, a arreglo, sabi ko, what's the point? Basa na ako, maliligo na tayo. I'm all wet, so I might just well take a bath. Ganun yan eh. Yan ang sinasagot ko sa kanila ngayon. Uh, there a lot of people uh, saying that now let's talk, uh, let's uh, just uh, forget about this thing and let us... Uh, uh, and, and even ABS-CBN. Yeah. I don't know if it's so, but somebody posted in the internet that uh, I do not owe ABS anything because I know what they did with my money. But they forgot that the Davao City Station gave us a letter with a corresponding check and saying that it is a reimbursement because you have a demandable law. <laughs> and it's a... Check it. Can't you check it? They're waiting. 
I said, let them start dinner. I like talking more than eating. <laughs> so, na magpisa na sila. They cannot start eating. <laughs> I do not want any, you know, um, maybe somebody would would need to eat now. Uh, so, uh, let me talk about it in the next, uh, about this chat. Uh, I will give you a copy. Okay? Thank you. I am not trying to be a show-off, but I've noticed that whenever, after every conference, whatever it is, a lot of uh, mostly women who want to have a picture with me. <laughs> so women come up and uh, we'll have the pictures. Halina, let 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 them let them papasokin mo sila. Uh, uh, yes, uh, a question? Come. Oh, come. Come, I said. Come. Come, come near, not come. Uh... <laughs> Thank you so much for taking my question. And maybe we'll have the, another chance to talk together about uh, the One Belt Viral Forum. China is a friend. If we may, uh, maybe kindly have uh, the, everybody on, on stage for a photo with the president. Thank you. Um, in the interest of time, can we just ask everyone to be on stage uh, for one quick photo opportunity? Thank you. Thank you. 